A position has come up on the NHS for the Healthcare Assistant Band 3. If you find yourself interested in working with the NHS and you want to work as an healthcare assistant, I think this job opportunity is for you as it requires a sponsorship visa to work for this position. If you're interested in this position, I'll be dropping every details that requires you to apply for this position in my description box. If this video is something that you're interested in or you want to know every details about this job, please stick to this video to the end and I'll be right back. Oh, well, oh, oh, I could be the best thing in your life. Well, well, oh, oh. Hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is love and if you're new here you're very much welcome please consider subscribing if you haven't and to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming back to watch my video i really do appreciate you all on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you this is an nhs position that requires a sponsorship visa to work with them the nhs foundation trust has a, a vacancy for an healthcare assistant band three and a sponsorship visa is offered to any one who wants to take up on this job as an healthcare assistant if you find yourself eligible for this position please do well to use every details i will leave in my description box to apply for this job this job is 30 hours per week the pay is 16 thousand two hundred and sixty four pounds to seventeen thousand four hundred and twenty one pounds a year and it's a part-time job i mean you can start 8 a.m and you finish 8 p.m and it starts tuesday to fridays 8 a.m to 8 p.m so if it's something that you're interested in please watch this video to the end as i will be sharing all information and details that you will need to apply for this job this job is a part-time and is a fixed term contract so it could possibly just be a one-year contract and after that they can decide to to two years and so forth so this position is a part-time role of 30 hours per week which includes working with contraceptions and sexual health services across west dorset working hours are tuesdays to fridays between 8 a.m to 8 p.m previous healthcare assistant experience is essential along with competency in vene puncture the main duties will include chaperoning nurses and doctors performing STI screening, coy fitting, and taking patient's blood as part of STI screening and HIV care, along with other duties required by service. So it's basically like you being in a room or in the same space with the doctors or nurses when they need to like do some sort of contraceptions. They just want to have someone in the room. So in case um, a patient complains that they are not comfortable with one person being in the room. So it's just like you being a chaperone and you have to be in the room to oversee what it is that is happening. Basically just being in the same room with the patient and the doctor or nurse that will be going on with the service. We recommend a friend or family member. If you have a family or friend who you think is suitable for this job, you can recommend them and they will give you a cash of £250. So if you recommend someone like a refra, they will give you £250 pounds do you have a friend or family you would recommend to join us or do you know someone who wants to return to practice in the nhs if the person you refer is appointed by the trust and completes their probationary period you will receive 250 pounds reward payment for the introduction please contact the recruitment team if you require further info employment in this post requires an enhanced disclosure and barring service that's a dbs check it's like a check that is required for every job you need to apply it's just like a security check they want to know that you've not involved yourself in fraud or crime previously so they want to know that they have someone who is safe to work with them for further details i'll be leaving every information about this application the name the contact number and the email address to contact and possibly the link to apply for this job what we are looking to provide if you start on the job one is 27 days of annual leave rising to 33 over 10 years if you work with them excellent nhs pension scheme health and well-being service flexible working options including family friendly hours so if you have children and you don't feel comfortable working a particular day they understand so they will swap in someone for you to cover up for that shift for that free training and one-to-one -one career coaching to reach your career goal preceptorship program for newly qualified nurses and ahps access to nine staff networks have a voice and transform our trust 
relocation costs where applicable so if you are you're not living in the uk and you apply for this position they would cover your cost of relocation including paid visa processing and all that document that you need to apply for this job so they'll possibly pay for your flight ticket anything that has to do with relocation if you're not living in the uk and you require a sponsorship so they'll pay for everything salary sacrifice scheme opportunities including child care vouchers car lease and circle scheme home technology equipment and buying and selling annual leave so this i think nhs has a lot of opportunities like if you go to a shopping mall and you have that nhs tag if you have some sort of identification that you need to identify yourself that you're an nhs worker you are free to get a car lease you are free to get a car on a higher purchase a lot of opportunities that you actually get if you're working with nhs and it's quite easy to work with nhs to be honest nhs discount to save on your shopping gym membership and more what you need to do for this position before applying for this post please do ensure that you have read the job description and the person specification requirements if you think you have everything we are looking for then we would love to hear from you alternatively if you would like more information about this role please don't hesitate to contact us after applying via the nhs job your application will be imported into our preferred third party requirements system the trust all information about our applications will come from app.trust.jobs you won't be able to track your progress of your application or receive messages through the nhs jobs by applying for this post you are agreeing to do set healthcare transferring the information contained in the application to tracks and accept a privacy notice under the general data protection regulations so the most important thing about this job is that's what i'm going to be reading applicants who require sponsorship to work in the uk are welcome and will be considered alongside other applications where this is not possible you will not be able to apply for the role to work in the uk candidates who are not uk or republic of ireland nationals require sponsorship unless you have permission to work via another route further guidance can be found in the uk website so this job requires a sponsorship visa for anyone who wants to come to the uk to work or who needs a sponsorship visa to work in the uk as an healthcare assistant with the nhs so the nhs trust is the dorset health care university in nhs foundation trust so these are the people who are offering this position for anyone who is interested in working as an healthcare assistant i haven't said much about this job please i will leave every details that you require on this job or how to make an application please do also check my description box for all information that you need i must say much about the nhs trust offering sponsorship visa for an healthcare assistant band three if you have watched this video to this end thank you very much and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please do want to hit that subscribe button if you found this video very informative please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video thank you guys for watching today's video till i see you in my next video bye